Welcome. LG Chem will show you how to install the new Rezu series. Before the installation, please make sure to read the installation manual thoroughly. Prepare tools for installation. Note that the tools and cable necessary for the installation are not provided by LG Chem. Wear the safety gears listed in the installation manual at all times and refer to the manual for clearance and installation location. In the box, you will find drilling template, Rezu battery pack, installation manual, mounting brackets, screw anchors, cable grommet, screws, Wall mounting shelf and base plate is optionally obtainable and is not included in the package. Open the package of the Rezu set carefully. Keep in mind that the cardboard is used not only as a cover, but as a drilling template for the wall as well. Remove the cushion pads, pull out the battery pack and stand it upright. Check whether the battery pack has any damage. Remove the top cover of the battery pack by loosening the four screws at each corner of the top cover. The circuit breaker should be in trip position. Now, we are going to set the rotary and dip switches in right positions so that the battery pack can communicate with its inverter. Remove the robber switch cover by pulling it upwards. You will find three dip switches and three rotary switches. This is the default setting indicated in the manual. Check thoroughly whether all switches match the default setting values. Now we are going to change the software select switch from default setting to LGC smart setting by turning on the number 3 and number 4 switch. Now turn on the circuit breaker by moving the circuit breaker to off position first, then to on. Check the voltage level of the battery pack with a voltmeter. The battery pack has to have a minimum voltage of 38 volts. Now, turn off the battery pack by pressing the trip button on the circuit breaker. Measure the voltage level of the battery pack to check whether the circuit breaker is working properly. The voltage level has to be zero when the circuit breaker is tripped. Close the top cover and tighten the four screws with a torque of 2.75 Newton meters. Drill four holes at the top and 14 at the bottom of the drilling template for M6 screw anchors. Each hole must be drilled more than 50 millimeters. Fix the provided mounting brackets to the wall with M6 screw anchors with a torque of 5 Newton meters. Place the battery pack on the wall mounting shelf and between the brackets. Fix the Rezu battery pack to the wall mounting shelf first by using M8 hexagon head bolts with a torque of 6 Newton meters. You must use all 8 bolts at the bottom. Loosen the 4 screws on the top cover and remove it. Fix the Rezu battery pack to the mounting brackets using M5 hex socket screws with a torque of 5 Newton meters. Remember that the battery pack needs to have a distance of at least 9 millimeters away from the wall. Start with a connection of ground cable. Thread the ground cable through the grommet and then through the bottom one of the three small holes. Connect the ground cable to the ground screw with a torque of 4 Newton meters. Push the grommet into the hole. Thread the communication cable through the grommet and then through the top of the three small holes first. Before attaching the RJ45 plug to the cable, Use wire stripper and network crimper to attach the plug. Checking LAN cable is optional. If available, 
Use a LAN cable tester to see if the cable is faulty. Connect it to the communication port of the battery pack. Push the grommet into the hole. To prevent the top cover pressuring the cable, it must be kept 25 millimeters from the inner case. Remove the plastic cover of the power terminal block. Thread the power cable through the grommet and then through the large two holes. Connect the cable to the port and tighten the screw with a torque of 6 newton meters. Keep attention not to confuse the polarity. The right one is plus and the left one is minus as it is marked above the terminal port. Use the small grommet to cover up the middle hole. Apply insulating sealant to all the areas where the grommet meets the cable and the hole. Turn on the circuit breaker by switching it to off position first, and then to on position. Close the top cover and tighten the four hex socket screws with a torque of 2.75 Newton meters. If firmware update is necessary, every installer will be notified. LG Chem recommends to use one of the SD cards stated in the installation manual. Turn off the inverter. The battery pack should be turned on. Remove the round lid on the left side of the top cover using a coin. Turning it counterclockwise will allow you to loosen the lid. Insert the memory card with updated firmware downloaded into the designated slot. Remember to delete all other files, except for the firmware. Press the update button beside the slot for three to four seconds. Check the indicator lights. The LED lights will flash consecutively from left to right. When the firmware update is successfully completed, only the on indicator will be flashing. When the update is done, Press the memory card to release. Place the lid again and turn it clockwise. Turn on the inverter.